Meet Swampletics, my Mauritania locked ultimate Iron Man. Welcome to my home. I've spent over 2,500 hours in one region of the game, overcoming obstacles against all odds. We're officially in the end game now. Soon, we'll be taking on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Theater of Blood. So it does look like Clue Scrolls are going to be an end game battle for this account. The Rune Scimitar just simply wasn't enough. I've killed 18,000 vampires in the last 13 days. I do have my next three goals outlined for me though. I mean, the Abyssal Whip, Rune Boots, and the Combat Bracelet, with those three upgrades, I think I can more than double my kills per hour, which would actually make this grind reasonable and potentially even consistent. Oh my god. This account's luck, man. Can we talk about that, please? We now are the proud owner of a combat bracelet made entirely from scratch in Mauritania. You know, sometimes you have to take drastic measures to get what you want, and because of that, I will not be the spitting image of a healthy gamer in this episode. I feel as though I'm much more informed about Mauritania Clue Scroll completions this time around. After all, it's been over a year since my first attempt. I've done some calculations, and I think I can confidently say that completing a Clue Scroll in Mauritania is one of the most challenging things I've ever tried attempting. The plan is to complete a clue scroll sometime this episode, but before I get to that, I really want to have some figures down for my range training. I don't really know how many bolt racks I need. I'm going to go for 50,000 at the moment, which should be a solid chunk. But after I get one level, I should have a big enough sample size to see exactly how many bolt racks I'm going to need. So I'm just going to go for 50,000 here. Going to spend a lot of money. 25,000. All right, that is 10 mil spent on bolt racks. I'm broke now. Can someone who's good at the economy please help me budget this? 350k away from 92 range. So I should get that by the end of today. And I'm just going to be tracking how many bolt racks I use to get this level. And then it's just some... Some simple math to find out how many I need for 95. Boom, full day of crab annihilation down 92 range. So I have 39.5k bolt racks left, which means I used about 11,000 to get to 92 range. So I average about 33 XP per bolt rack. Not bad at all. That means I need about 70k total bolt racks to hit 95 range from here. Which is great. Like, I already have 40k, so that's most of it. I'm gonna have like 25 mil left over. Wow, genuinely the first time I'm not excited for a genie. I've had two- I have two lamps now. I just don't know what to use them on. Like, I don't want to use them on runecrafting. I want to stay a one runecrafting pure, so... I really don't know. Like, Herblore's done. So, I- I guess cooking? Cooking will get me a level. Screw it, we'll use it on cooking. This is the first time I've ever used a lamp on cooking, but we're gonna do it. But yeah, I mean, lamps are just... Dude, I've obsessed over lamps for like nearly two years. <laughs> what could it be hiding? A coif. Oh, beautiful. Ended up doing a little bit more range training while I was contemplating a decision. I know what you're thinking. Why are we on the third floor of Fenkenstrain's castle near a useless lightning conductor? Well, that would be a great question. I'm dropping my Carol's Coif, which is an item I've held onto for well over a year now. It was originally necessary for the full Carol's and Amulet of the Dam strategy for the Theater of Blood, but I don't think the slight range bonus it provides outweighs an extra brew at this point. My inventory space is going to be so limited uh, that I think just maining the Guthan Helm here is going to save me a brew, plus it just looks sick. Like, look at it. But yeah, the Coif just really isn't that helpful. I'd much rather have an extra brew and I can main the uh, Guthans Helm instead. I'm still not really sure why I came all the way up here. I thought it would be like a cool analogy, you know, like lightning striking down the coif or something, like... Okay, no more stalling. The coif is gone. We have a clue scroll to complete. No matter what happens in this video, whether I complete a clue scroll or not, this will be my last time attempting a Mauritania clue scroll completion. I'll be setting a limit, and if I pass that limit, I'll be moving on to the Theater of Blood without a clue completion.
Regardless, a clue scroll is just one of four reasons I have for a vampire extinction event. Vampires will be my final melee training ground. I plan to completely finish all melee stat preparation for the final challenge in this episode. The goal? At least 96 strength and 97 attack, but I'll likely be going even higher than that. Next up, the ruby bolt tip stack. My 1000 ruby bolt tip goal is about to be shattered because while wearing a ring of wealth, vampires drop rubies at a rate of 1 in 260. Any ruby bolt tips I get even past my goal of 1000 will allow me to use my bolts in a way where I'm not afraid of losing them. I don't have an accumulator to save me any ammo, so having an excess will be very comfy. Objective number three, vampires drop grimy quarms, and I'll be collecting these and noting them on the tool leprechaun. I need them for super strength potions, which I unlocked last episode. And since I already walked to the tool leprechaun anyway, I'll be working on some farming as well. The goal there is 47 farming to unlock watermelons, which allow me to make my own super compost rather than buying pineapples to do so. And finally, the medium clue scroll. We already have three very productive reasons for killing vampires, but the clue scroll? That's where it gets personal. I have some interesting math to show you, and it's safe to say an explanation on the process of Mauritania clues is pretty warranted. It's been 16 months since I last attempted this, so I'm gonna give it a go. In old school RuneScape, there's 147 medium clue scroll steps. That can take you anywhere in this vast landscape. Pretty unfortunate for a Mauritania restricted account, you could say. Of those 147 steps, only 10 of them reside here in Mauritania. Medium clue scrolls can take anywhere from three to five steps to solve. So a completion where I got three steps back to back to back, all in Mauritania, would be approximately one in 10,000. But there's a way around just getting three back to back steps and hoping for the best. The game limits you to only having one clue scroll in your inventory at all times but you are able to have multiple as long as they're all on the ground. All I need to worry about is their three minute despawn timer, but I can keep resetting it by re-dropping them. Thankfully, clue scrolls work as a collective. If I have three clue scrolls on the ground, each with one step completed, it's the exact same as having one clue scroll with three steps completed. Once I have the first Mauritania clue scroll, I can hold on to it, wake up the next day, and keep re-dropping it while I try to obtain at least two more in a single session. With medium clue scrolls taking anywhere from three to five steps, attempting it with any less than three total clue scrolls just isn't worth it. So let's get into the math. Vampires have a one in 128 chance of dropping a medium clue scroll, and following that, there's a 1 in 14.7 chance that it's in Mauritania. In short, the odds of receiving a Mauritania clue scroll step from a vampire is 1 in 1881. My odds of completing a clue scroll are entirely dependent on how many times I can land this 1 in 1881 drop chance in one single session of gameplay. Having three total Mauritania clues is where my odds get decent, and having five is where I'd have a guaranteed chance of completion. Easier said than done though. So if you remember me saying that I won't be a healthy gamer at the start of this video, it's because this grind doesn't allow you to be. If I have two clue scrolls on the ground, I can't step away from my computer for more than three minutes without all my hard work going out the window. That despawn timer is very important. My chair and I are eternally binded once that second clue scroll drops, and the longer I'm willing to stay awake, the higher my odds go for completing a clue. Assuming 225 vampire kills per hour, this is how long I have to stay awake on average for each completion chance. So basically, 17 hours of prayer flicking vampires just to hit the first reasonable completion chance of 40%. Keep in mind this isn't even taking into account breaks to eat, use the bathroom, stretch, or anything else. This grind is disgusting, which is why I want to complete it badly. For me, this is a trophy. Leaving no achievement unclaimed in this region when I finish the series would be awesome, which is why I'm gonna try my hardest to make it happen. But no matter how hard I try, it's always just down to RNG at the end of the day. Already have my first uncut ruby drop. I need to go buy a chisel I completely forgot. Gonna be getting so many rubies. Chisel purchased. It's already pretty late today, so I won't be getting much done, but what I am trying to do with my limited time today is marking tiles. These won't stay marked for a very long time, I'm just trying to see where the vampires spawn, and then after I see where all the spawn points are, I can triangulate the best single tile 
to uh, stay AFK on. Ah, the first clue of the grind. Not a Mauritania clue, I can tell you that much. Clue number two is an Otto's Grotto. Hello and welcome to the real day one. 1,000 Ruby Bolt tips. The goal is officially complete. From this point forward, the goal is just to get as many as I can so that I can use them as recklessly as I want. As you can see in the chat box, we did receive a medium clue scroll. I've gotten four of them in total so far. As soon as we get our first Mauritania clue scroll, that's when things start getting interesting. Not really sure how effective this is going to be for Quorums. I mean, it'll be something at least, but that's three in 1,000 kills, which I think is like exactly on the rate. However many I get, I get, you know, I'll be happy with that. I got some starter seeds here as well. Road to 47 begins. I'm 3.6k away from 41 at the moment. Welcome to day two. What's it gonna be, man? Varrock Archery Store, get out. This one is Caroline in Witchhaven. East of Lumbridge Swamp. Come on, guys, wrong swamp. We can do better than this. So this is the end of day three. I've been taking a kind of like, because I've been doing some farming and stuff, but look at that clue ratio, man. 25. 25 clues and 2260 kills. Really good drop rate. Obviously pretty dry for a Mauritania clue at this point. Over double the rate, but we'll get one. Lucky. Kind of lucky. Red Dehyde Chaps G. Pretty cool, honestly. Not gonna keep them, of course, but collection log. Humble Swamp Farmer obtains 41 farming. This is how day four is looking like so far. I've done 1,200 kills today, over 1,209 medium clues so far. Yeah, 95 strength, beautiful. 912 KXP away from the original melee stat goal I set myself. Obviously though, it doesn't hurt at all to keep going since I'm getting so much stuff done while also chasing a clue scroll. I really wouldn't mind seeing 97 or 98 attack. This is how day five is currently going. A little over 700 kills, four clue scrolls so far. Well, guys, it only took six days to get the one more Tanya step that I can't do. I can't get my hands on a green robe top, so... Yeah, it's really disappointing. Almost a full week without hitting that one in 14.7 chance. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! I've got one! I got a Mauritania clue! Let's go! Yes! A full week, dude! Full week! Oh, south of Fairy Ring CKS. Hell yeah! Alright, I think I went four times the drop rate for that Mauritania clue. I really hope I get better luck now. We're gonna be dropping this on the floor, and that way the game is like, What? You don't have a Mauritania clue. I could drop you another one. So, uh, now we just go for multiple in a session. We're good to go to start grinding. It's not really hectic yet. Like, yeah, I have to worry about this three minute despawn timer, but when there's only one clue, it's really not a big deal. So this is what the end of day six is looking like. 2,800 kills and only 13 medium clues. That's so bad. That is so bad. Thank God one of them was Mauritania at least, but yeah. Very unfortunate day six. Hey, welcome to day seven. I really don't know what's going on, but 1,600 kills so far today and only five medium clues. Something is going on, man. My luck has just turned so bad, but uh, hopefully it picks back up. Ninety-eight hit points. That's probably gonna be my first ninety-nine. My first combat ninety-nine, rather. One point two mil to go, and this is going to be fifteen hundred ruby bolt tips. Hell yeah, man! Days seven and eight were some of the unluckiest days of clue scroll hunting I've ever seen. I averaged one clue scroll every three hundred and forty vampire kills, and to make matters even worse, on day eight, I looked upon my one and only clue scroll to see that it was no longer. A Mauritania clue. During the redropping process, I somehow managed to replace it with a different clue scroll that was on the ground. In short, the entire week it took to get my first clue had gone to waste. Or at least I thought so at the time. How did I do that, man? I'm, I'm so upset with myself. I understand if you're upset watching this, because that was such a stupid mistake. Hopefully we can get one back quickly. That was... And there's 43 farming. Is it weird that I enjoy picking my virtual strawberries? I don't think so personally, but yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you, the Mauritania clue has been returned. 
to its rightful place. I can't even tell you how stupid I felt. Okay, it begins. The hunt for at least two more clues in a session. Boom, 97 attack. Can't believe after all this time. Getting close to maxing out the melee stats. Any second now. I was too lazy to go back, man. I just, I just wanted to get the level. So there it is, 96 strength. We're done. I mean, I, those are the combat stats that I set myself at the beginning of the episode and it's done. One mil until 97. Now, obviously I'm still nowhere near a clue completion, so I could complete one today in a week, who knows? I'm gonna try to push this as far as I can possibly get it. I mean, it's nothing but more benefits at this point. It doesn't hurt me to get higher stats than I set myself. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my god, we got it! Second one! Two more Tainia clues in a session, we got it. Two weeks. We've got number two. I'm just gonna always say my total amount of clues rather than like how many I've gotten in the session, but... Oh my goodness, I'm so happy! If I don't get a third clue here though, this is pointless. Like, I have a 2.2% chance of completion right now, I really need that third clue for any of this to mean anything. And also, since I have two clues now, I can no longer leave my desk for more than a couple minutes. I'm unfortunately a slave to the despawn timer now, but we're getting somewhere at least. This is, this is my first chance in two weeks to complete a clue. First clue since Mauritania step number two. Fell de Pills, Shiloh Village, Lumbridge Swamp, Karamja Step, Relica, Nope, Balador Courtyard, Nope, Barbarian Outpost, Remington, Edgeville General Store, Berthrop Anvil, Brimhaven, Charlie the Tramp. So I'm gonna be grabbing this spade here and then hurrying back. I should still have plenty of time on my clue scroll despawn, but I'm always so paranoid, so I'm just gonna run back as fast as possible. Uh, I'm grabbing the spade because worse comes to worse, obviously I'm still gonna attempt my 2.2% completion chance. Would really be a waste not to, so... I'm ready for anything at this point, whether we get this third one or not. At least I'll have one attempt, even if it's a 2% chance. No, that's not the new one. Is this the I was standing on this. It's definitely not that one. This is the new one. <gasps> oh my god! No way I have three! No way, that was a Mauritania clue, what? No way, dude, that's at the literal end of my session. I was so close to ending it for the night. No way, I have three. I'm so happy, dude, that's a 40% completion chance. 40%, I'm feeling so good about that. This will be my second time attempting with three clues. I've never gotten four, but 40% is not bad. I'm gonna keep going. I'm pretty damn tired already, but I can give it an hour or two longer at this point. Four clues would give me a 75% chance, so. First time having one on the ground since that third Mauritania clue. Please, please, no. I have officially doubled my goal of 1,000 bolt tips, sitting on 2K ruby bolt tips now. All right, well, I tried my heart out to get this fourth clue and it just didn't happen. So we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for a 40% completion chance. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, there's a 33% chance that it's a three-step clue. And obviously we have three chances here to have a back-to-back -back Mauritania step on one of these, which is why it's 40%. We're just gonna go for it, man. We're gonna go for it. Hopefully it, hopefully it happens. Okay, one of these is Ulysses. There it is. Okay, so here comes our first chance for a back-to-back -back Mauritania step, which would boost us to four clues. No, okay, it's fine. It's fine, I'm not, not stressing yet, dude. It is completely fine at the moment. All right, attempt number two at a back-to-back. -back. I'm always so scared to open it, man. I'm so scared, I know it's not. All right, let's pull the trigger, let's do it. No, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Doesn't matter right now. The most important chance is the next clue scroll because we have a 33% chance for that to just be the casket. So if that fails, well, let's not think about that. This is the same exact step that I failed my very first three-step attempt on. 
So today, we find out, does history repeat itself? That's what I want to know. Please, 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 come on. No! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. We still- back-to-back step? Come on. Is it a back-to-back? -back? No, it's not. That- that's the end. Oh, man. <sighs> I decided to keep this step just to answer a very common question, so... As you can see, we have three steps completed on this. We're gonna drop it, and we're gonna see what happens when I get another clue scroll drop. Alright, so there we go, we got another clue scroll drop, and if we check the steps, it resets. So, that's why you have to do it all in one session. If you get another clue after you start completing steps, it just resets, so... Oh my god, yes! There we go! First clue back already! Canifis, let's go! There we go. Okay, we have one more Tanya step. Beautiful. We can get started again. 92 defensive stat. Halfway to 99, which I will never get, but still pretty cool. 119 combat now, looking pretty beefy, not gonna lie. As you can see, today is going great. No clues and 600 kills. Lucky? Bob shirt. Ooh, look at this formal fella. Nice. That is a storable unique, which is pretty cool. I always enjoy storing those. Oh, yes. As the prophecy foretold. Oh my god. Finally, dude. Wow. 909 kills for my first clue of the day. Oh, what a beautiful way to start the day. 45 farming. Do you guys smell those fresh strawberries? <gasps> Number two! Dang, we've got two, man! We've got two more Tanya clues on the ground. Damn, it hasn't been long at all since my other attempt. We're looking at another 2.2% chance at the moment. Unfortunately, it is pretty late here. I was gonna go to bed in like an hour. I'll stay awake a bit longer to boost my odds, otherwise we're just gonna attempt it with two. I made it so that my clue scroll text has a black outline now. I don't know why I'm telling you this. We got another one. I think it's that one. No way. Oh my god, I have a third. Holy shit, it was worth it. It was actually worth staying up. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that it was worth it. I am so tired, dude. I, I can't believe I got one. It just, it's so hopeless, man. Like when you're chasing a one in 1900 drop, you really don't expect to get it. Like granted, I do a lot of vampire kills, but either way, like 40% chance once again, I'm gonna do like 30 more kills just to boost my odds a little bit. Maybe get a fourth miraculously, but I'm definitely gonna attempt it with three right very soon. All right, take our spade. It's time. I'm even gonna teleport because I'm that paranoid about losing these clues. Should be a bit faster than running back. Alright, we've got all three here. Let's start with the crate in Canifis. Come on, just give me the back-to-back. -back. Give me the back-to-back. -back. No! Get out of here, Cecilia. Next up is Rovar once again. I want to save the Slayer Tower dig one because it's the one that I keep failing on, so... Rovar, please, hand me a back-to-back. -back. No, I actually got excited there for a second. I thought it was the crate and cannabis again. Man, I'm so tired and so nervous. I've prayer flicked vampires for... Why is it over here? What the frick? I, yeah, I've prayer flicked vampires for about 15 hours today just for this 40% chance. And uh, it's always this step too. Does history repeat itself once again? Please. Oh my god. No, no, please just be a back to back step. I really don't want to check it. I know it's not three steps completed. This is definitely not a back to back. It just can't be. It's not. Oh, man. Oh, why? Why? I'm so overdue at this point. That's three 40 percent attempts. So upsetting, man. So upsetting. That sucks. So I'm off to get some Ecto Tokens right now. I need a lot of plant pots because... I'm just kidding. I don't need Ecto Tokens or plant pots, but there's 99 hit points. Let's go. First combat 99. 
I have killed a lot of vampires in the past three weeks. Oh! Oh ho ho! All right, we've got our first. Depending on how long it takes me, if I manage to get three clues in a session again here, it will probably be my last attempt. Farming's almost done. I have 2,600 ruby bolt tips and my melee stats are pretty damn close to being maxed out. So one more solid attempt and I think that'll be that. I'll just end it there. Catherby, Karamja. I feel like no matter what I do, I won't be able to express how difficult this grind is. I, I didn't realize how much I took breaks for granted but not being able to take a break from the game when you get that second clue scroll and being forced to grind under threat of your progress despawning, it's its the worst thing I've ever done. Boom, 97 strength. Almost 98 attack too. Most of this has been on shared XP with the whip, so these levels are very, very slow. The farming journey is almost over. 46. Yeah, that's right. 98 attack, you're seeing that correctly. And a clue, what the... What is going on? There's no way it's Mauritania, dude. It would never be. There it is, yeah. Also, 120 combat. That is sick. That is actually so freaking sick. A93 defense. Even more importantly though, 1750 total, which is kind of nuts. Uh, I can access 1750 total worlds should I ever want to now. Oh, ho, ho. we've got one. We've got number two. In fact, not even one. We've got number two. Ooh, it's time. It's time, dude. I'm gonna drop my clues here for a sec and then teleport back because I badly need prayer. It's so much less efficient when I don't prayer flick. My armor's broken. We've got a clue. It's not Mauritania. Oh, we've got another one. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Holy shit. Oh my god, I have three again? This is the clue as well. If there was ever a clue to call the clue, it is this. Oh my god, this is the clue that I spent 50 hours unlocking in episode 16. Oh my god, that mithril plate skirt. It's all, it's all coming full circle. Oh, I'm gonna try to really sweat out a fourth. I'm gonna push my limits here a bit and just try to finish this off. If I can get a fourth, my odds are so, so good. I think I'm just gonna go for it. It's past four in the morning currently. I'm just gonna do it, man. I, there's no way I can stay up longer and grind a fourth, so I'm just gonna go for it. Whatever happens, happens at this point, but I have been so tired for the past like two hours i'm so confused if this one is and this one isn't mauritania either oh my god no no oh my god what have i done i did it again oh my god i did it again did i just what What happened? I only have two. I had three, but I have two. Oh my God. How did I do that again? No. I don't know how I did that. That's so disappointing. I'm so upset with myself. I really don't know how I did it. I've been even more careful, but I've also been stupidly tired. But I, it looks like I did it again, man. Alright, 2.2% chance for completion. I already know what's gonna happen. I've never had a back-to-back -back step before. 
And I really don't think it's going to start here. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay, well, I'm going to retreat with my one and only clue scroll that I have south of here, and we're going to keep trying. I could go for another back-to-back -back with my second one, but I'd much rather just keep it. We're going to keep going tomorrow. I really feel like I hit rock bottom with that. The next day, after a long session, I once again managed to get a second Mauritania clue. But this time, there was no third. I went for another 2.2% chance at completion. It's honestly hopeless trying to consider the odds of a two-step completion, but let's just see. See what we can do. I mean, yeah, that just wasn't going to happen. Can't really expect much from that. After hitting 3,000 ruby bolt tips on day 30, it wasn't until day 32 where I truly hit my rock bottom. After not paying attention, I let my one and only clue hit the three minute despawn timer. The first time I have ever made that mistake. So first I let my third clue in a session get replaced with a Fremenic clue. And then I let my one and only clue despawn after that. Dude, after like a month, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know anymore. I don't know how things could possibly get worse. I want to complete one so badly and I'm not going to give up just yet, but. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Same day, same day, got a Mauritania clue back. That's so lucky. Okay, so it's pretty much like that didn't even matter because unless I get a third clue tonight, which it's already super late, then it's technically as if I didn't even lose that last clue, so that's good, but I'm gonna be so careful from here on out. I just need to put like all my brain power into being vigilant and not making any mistakes now because, oh, I can't, I can't handle making another mistake, dude. The moment we've all been waiting for, 47 farming. Beautiful, we can now grow watermelons. The farming grind is over. I've been stacking tons of watermelon seeds just for this moment, so I'll be growing these from now on. Awesome. Well, I've gotten one whole clue today in 800 kills so far, so things are not looking too good yet. Finally, I'm over a thousand kills already. Oh my God. Oh my god, I've gotten three clues today, dude. One of them is Mauritania, though. Wow, we have number two. Holy shit. It's how unexpected. All right, well, whatever whatever happens here, if I get a third one, we've got Frankenstein's castle and we've got Drezzle. If I get a third one, that's, that's, like, that's my last attempt. All right, let's grind it out. Let's keep going. Oh, we got one. Please, man, just be Mauritania. <gasps> oh my god. What? It actually is. Is that two Frankenstein castle clues? Oh my god, it is. That has happened to me one time before. One time I had, I think, two Drezzle steps. Dude, that's so sick. I have three again. Dude, it is time to get serious. It is actually time. To get serious, gonna give it my all. Uh, I, this is my last attempt. I want to be able to say I give it my all. I've never, ever gotten four clues in one session, but I'm about to go as hard as I can to make it happen. If there was ever a time to make it happen, it's on the very final attempt. So as you can see, I've got my three children on the ground here. I'm gonna teleport to the theater of blood, reset my stats, and then I'm gonna hurry back. Ooh. Cause yeah, I have no prayer right now and it's just, it's gonna be so bad if I don't have prayer. And um, it just really sucks that RNG controls my fate here, but I can still make my odds as good as they can possibly be. Axe go slash, 98 strength, woo! Beefy swamp boy now, man. 
98 strength, and 200k away from 99 attack. Oh, please. Please let this be, man. It's 3.30 in the morning. Just let me go to bed. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, it actually is four! I have four! Oh my god, I have four clues! Oh my god! Holy shit! It actually happened! Oh my god! The final attempt, dude! This has to be fate. This has to be fate. 75% completion chance for the first time ever. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. My clue rate today is also complete garbage. Plus, including some like mobile kills, I have around 2,900 vampires killed with 16 clues, man. That's awful, but the luck. Okay, I think it's time. I stayed up way later than I've ever stayed up for any one of these. And I have done so many kills today. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. Whatever happens, happens. This is the final attempt. I'm gonna be super careful with this transfer process because forgetting to redrop one of these clues would be devastating at this point. Okay, we've got all four in Canifus. We're looking for the Ulysius one. It's going to be the next one. We have four clues here, which means if any one of these is a back-to-back -back step, my completion chance is guaranteed. So any one of these could just secure it at this point. First attempt now, please. Okay, it's fine. Not panicked yet. Come on, second chance at a back-to-back. -back. I've never gotten one before, please. Best time to get one. Okay, it's fine. My final two steps are both to dig in Fankenstrain's castle. So I'm going to transfer both of these over there. And obviously this next one, it could be a three-step clue. I've done so many three-step attempts. It could just be a three-step clue and I won't have to worry. Let's transfer both of these over. I'm so nervous, dude. Step three. Oh, if this isn't the casket, I'm going to be so worried. I'm going to be so freaked out if this isn't. Please. Please just end it here. No. No. It's not a back to back either. Of course. Of course it came down to the final step. Oh. Oh, step number four. It's literally down to this. It's a 50 50 at this point. It's either a four step clue or a five step clue. Everything is down to this moment. <sighs> Please. Please. Just free me. Yes! 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 Oh my god! Oh, I did it! I did it! Casket in Mauritania! Oh my god! Oh, thank god, dude, I was so worried! That was straight up 50-50 at that point. It could have been four steps, it could have been five. Equal chance for either. Oh, we have a casket, yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the final day of vampires. Should be probably close to 3,300 kills with mobile. Wow, oh my god, dude, I'm so happy. Including the 18,000 that I killed in episode 17, it took me over 80,000 vampires to complete one single clue in Mauritania. Well, what you've all been waiting for, and believe me, I don't care if this is the most dog shit reward in RuneScape history. This was more about the journey than anything else. So whatever happens now, I'm more than happy with it. I wanted to complete a clue in Mauritania, and that's exactly what I did. Let's open it. <laughs> Black elegant legs, wow. Ooh, one medium treasure trail completed, yes! Well, I got some fancy legs, which unfortunately aren't even storable, but like I said, this was about completing a clue, showing that it's possible, and it all, it all wrapped up in the end. It all worked out. I'm so happy. The progress in this episode has been insane. 99 attack nearly, 98 strength, 3600 ruby bolt tips. I'd say the stage is set. I'll see you in the pre-finale.